Here's a question that's been asked so many times I can't even believe about the defense in fantasy football. When should you be drafting a defense in fantasy football? Well, first off, if you have a defensive slot in fantasy football, I would advocate for you guys to go to your commissioner and take a league vote to remove defenses and kickers completely out of the equation. I think it's way more fun to add more flex positions. But if you're in most leagues, they probably have a defense. And a lot of times I do, I draft one a little bit earlier to get the stud type of defense. Well, you gotta think about it. Year in and year out, the defenses change. They're not gonna be the same exact defense that you saw the year before. There's a lot of personnel adds and drops. There's a lot of new additions. You never know what's gonna happen in fantasy football. So I would always advocate for either the last pick of the draft or at the earliest, the second last pick of the draft, that's when you should be taking your defense. You don't wanna take a high draft capital type of defense just because they were great the year before. How many times have we seen a defense go absolutely bananas one year and then the very next year they were caca doo doo, right? So don't draft based on last year's uh, finish because everything's gonna be changed. It's drastically different, right? So make sure you kind of target and look at look at who the additions were on the defense. Look who they who they drop. Make the best you know, defensive play possible. I would say look at probably the first four weeks of the NFL and try to gauge who would be the best defense at that. And then after about four weeks, go ahead and just, just play by week by week, you know, just add drop defenses all over the field. It doesn't matter at the end of the day because it's almost a crapshoot when it comes to the week because no one knows who the best defense is going to be. I mean, unless you, you're playing Desmond Ritter or some other cockadoo quarterback, you, it is what it is. You never know what's going to happen. Defenses get a pick six out of the blue all over the place against the best quarterbacks. So you try to gauge who's going to be the best defense for the entire year is almost impossible. I would rather you just stack up on your wide receivers and your running backs throughout the entire draft. And then with your last pick of the draft, just go ahead and pick up the best defense you, you think that could happen within the first four weeks of the season. Who has the better matchups, right? Like I said, you don't know who the good teams are going to be. You don't know who the bad teams are going to be throughout the season. So you don't know how this defense is going to play out. Do the best you possibly can for the first four weeks and then just kind of stream the defenses for the rest of the season. So, but it definitely hit a like button. This is just another quick video kind of an answering one of those questions that you guys had for me. I know it's mostly probably for a lot of the newer players, but you guys might want to know what, what's my opinion on drafting these defenses. If you have to draft them, I would say the last draft pick. So make sure you guys are hitting a thumbs up on the, on the video. It really helps out. And leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? When do you guys draft defenses? But overall, I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys next time.